Hey guys, Vern Danke. I was just thinking, do I have any mail? Let's go check it out. Hey, 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 Vern. Hey! All right, so let's go to our mailbox. Let's see what we have today. Do we have anything? I don't know, it could be exciting. Let's find out. Let's find out. There's our box. What's in there? Oh, there's nothing. There's nothing in the box. It's crazy. So I didn't get any mail today, so I guess I'll just have to reread a letter that I got from my mom. So I don't get much mail here in the Philippines. Back home I used to get all kinds of junk mail. Now, the reason I bring up the mail delivery system here in the Philippines is because my house that I rent has no house number. The street that I live upon has no street name that's anywhere to be found. And even in my address, there is nothing on there. So how on earth can the mail delivery people deliver mail to names with no house numbers, with no street names? It seems pretty daunting, right? If you were to go back to the United States and tell people, hey, I want you to deliver this mail with no street number and no street, they would say, you're crazy. You're crazy, we can't do that. That's, that's impossible. How do you do that? Is there like a, a, a mail fairy? Is there a genie? How on earth could you do that? Well, odd as it may seem, that's how they do it here. In most of the areas that are outside of the city. It's not really special for the area that I live in. It's, it's also similar for many of the other towns outside of the big cities. So let's check it out. Let's go talk to somebody today and let's find out exactly how this works because I'm still kind of boggled in my mind. I need to ask somebody how this works. Okay, let's check it out. So today I'm trying to find out how the mail system delivers here because the streets have no names and the houses have no numbers so how do they find out where a letter goes so they will try to help the one delivering the mail ah. we will give direction which place? So, so they have to know the names of all the people in their mind. Yeah, yeah. We also, we also. Wow. And we have, uh, we have also the resident barangay inhabitants. Ah. We will look at something like this one there. So, how many people are in each parak? In it, there are one. So those are all the people in Prague 1 and you have a list? Yeah, for Prague. Okay. Up to seven. Ah, uh, up to seven Paraks per barangay? Yes. Ah, uh, and how many people per Parak? Uh, there are 100, uh, 100 plus. Oh. Uh, and then the seven is about uh, 62 households. Okay. Is there a mail truck for the area or is it only motorcycle? Motorcycle. Oh. And and how many how only many one for Valencia? One one mailman? Yeah, one for the whole all of Valencia, Valencia? Yeah. for seven hundred people? Oh my gosh. And and how do they find like if there's a jungle house, is there a mailbox for the jungle houses? Uh, some some have the we subdivision the house in the one the apartments. Uh. Yeah, also. So uh, they just go door to door and say, here's your mail? Oh, oh yeah. Ah. So, but most of the residents do not have mailbox. Wow. Wow. So there's one person that delivers all the mail for Valencia. And what happens if that person gets sick? <laughs> Has a sick day. <laughs> right? Mail delayed. Oh, maybe late. Uh, maybe late. Mail delayed. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. You're from, sir. You're from? U.S. Ah, yeah. U.S. Postal Service? Ah, uh, no, 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 not the Postal Service. I just, I, I'm just trying to figure out how things work here. Because back in the U.S., everything has a street name and a number for each house. And even me, 
I had a hard time delivering pizzas, even with a street name. And there, yeah, yeah, and a number. So I always wonder how do they deliver the mail here because they're really good at it. Well, uh, one of the assets is that the, our barangay is small. Ah. Uh, not so many. However, the number of residents are growing. Mm. So before. We almost know everybody because they are residents oh. and they live there. They grow. Relatives. Oh, relatives. oh mostly relatives. So everybody but now knows. there are one immigrants coming oh, to right. this barangay. Right. As of now, as of now. Oh, oh. Like Puruk one. That their, their name almost in it. Their, their, their surname. surname. Ah, ah. In Puruk one. So, you see to the very later in Brooklyn is that. Are all the houses in the Philippines with no house numbers or only this island or how does do we some? We don't know. We don't know. Last, sir. last one many years they have a number number or oh, oh, household number or as of now I, I don't know what happened. Oh. Maybe, maybe in the initiative of the municipal government. So if I went to Manila, would the house? Does this have numbers in Manila or Cebu or no? No. In Dumaguete, I have I have been delivering in Dumaguete. They have numbers also. They oh, they do numbers. have numbers there. Okay. <laughs> so only some islands in some areas don't have no, the numbers. Mm, not all. Not all. This only okay. in Porok. Porok. Oh, so outside the city is where there are no numbers. Is that why it's called a Porok? It's outside the city. No. Last time they have a number like my house. It's number number nine. Uh -huh. uh, so now it's only for rock, for rock oh. trees. Uh. So it's a zone. It's like a zone. For rock is the zone. Okay. Okay. See, this stuff is interesting to people that have never been here because they don't know that there are places that don't have road names or houses. We have numbers. last last time. We put us one resolution that we we name this old roads, barangay roads. Oh, oh you did uh, choose a name for it. Right? Uh, but it was costly. Oh, we have no enough money to <laughs> oh, to put up a sign because there's no signs at the at the road intersections either. Very few, right? But it, it is a matter uh, resolution that we put names. Uh, 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 Maybe come time to time, if you have money, we can buy it. Okay, no. so it's just no. lack of funds. Ma funds. There, that's why there's no you know, signs. Google funds is very, <laughs> very hard to get. Hard to okay, get. Oh. okay. <laughs> Easy to get to that fund, the politician. Ah, okay. <laughs> ah. You have to many papers. Oh, right, 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 right. Well, that's interesting. So if they want to know where the mail goes, they ask you, and then you have to go through 700 names? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay. we will identify first the Porok, Porok. which ah. Porok, and this, by, this is by Porok. Ah, okay, okay. So if they get the Porok wrong, then you're going to have a really hard time, right? Uh, not, not so. What about if you have, well, sorry, well, we have banana, snack? Ah. Huh? Oh, you have some banana queue? Okay, sure. Sure. Nice. All right, so this is... So this is banana queue? Just regular. Oh, oh, I see. Ah, okay. So, so these are the plain banana? Ah, okay, I'll try one, thank you. So steamed banana? Oh, that one? Oh, it's, is, it, is it sweet? More sweet? Ah, like a Filipino? More so. <laughs> oh, salamat po. Ah, so you heat the banana by steaming it. And then you eat it with some kind of a sauce. Okay. It's different. This is a, a much different flavored banana than the banana that I'm used to eating from the tree, the yellow. Very, very different. Now what's the what's the Basaya word for the steamed banana? What's the Basaya? Okay. Okay. Thank you. So there you have it. In the town that I live in, in Valencia, there's one person that delivers all the mail to the 700 
residents that are in this area and they do it using a motorcycle. The barangay captain mentioned that if they're sick, the mail's going to be late. It's just going to be late and that's just how that works. Now, the other thing that he mentioned is each zone outside of the city is, is given a PROC number. Okay. Now, when I moved to the apartment that I'm in, they told me one number for a PROC and then I went to the Brangay Hall and they gave me another number for the for the PROC. So he mentioned that if you're in a given area, make sure that you have the correct PROC, especially if you're to get a delivery here. If the delivery people don't know your name, if, if they're not familiar with the area, they'll go to the Brangay Hall and they'll look at the, the PROC by name and they will find out who's there and talk to the neighbors. Hey, do you know this name? Do you know this name? And they just network through it to get honed in to find that one name. It's, it's pretty amazing. It's really amazing, actually. I've talked to other expats that have lived overseas, and it seems that somehow they know the foreigners. Maybe it's the gossip hotline. I don't know if exactly, but it, it just somehow gets out there. It's, it's pretty amazing. So. Now you can tell people that there's actually a mail delivery system with no house numbers and no streets and the mail gets to where it needs to go. Surprisingly, it works. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if, if you've ever experienced that type of a system before and, and let me know if, if you think that's cool or if that's not. Anyway, let me know. Hey, 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 Vern.